Thanks, Chairman, for the invitation to present at the EBC 2020. The title of my presentation is Decay Quash is the best technique for Medina 111 or 011 digital life man by lesions. Similar to all kinds of false coronary by lesion, provisional standing technique is the primary approach including for Medina 101 by lesion. RID is always treated as a main vessel. However, after standing main vessel, redistribution of lesions may require ballooning side branch or fight kissing balloon inflation or even two stand technique. On the other hand, for Medina 111 or Medina 011, bifurcan lesion two stand technique is much more commonly used. During procedure, operators concerns and the standing Selection are usually based on the prediction of side branch occlusion, stand thrombosis, tight vessel myocardial infarction function, and reverse cularization. Dissection sparse plaque or current shift are major factors correlated with the presence of side branch occlusion of the standing main vessel. And side stand and expansion of stand are two major reasons for the occurrence of stand thrombosis. However, the presence of target vessel myocardial infarction and reverse cularization are multifactorial. So the next question is that can we predict the occurrence of clinical outcomes? For the prediction of side branch occlusion, COPIS registry trial provided that side branch baseline diameter stenosis minimal 50%, long side branch lesion length and SS patient are strongly correlated with the side branch occlusion of the standing main vessel. Previously published randomized trial favor prominent standing technique or many kinds of two stand technique for inter cohort of bifurcan lesions. However, so far there is no risk stratification for the prediction of worst clinical results only for Medina 111 or 011, two kinds of coronary bifurcan lesions. Previously, we published a DK Quachi 2 trial comparing provisional standing technique with the DK Quachi for Medina 111 or Medina 011 coronary bifurcan lesions. At one year follow up, there was no significant difference in terms of the, the one year mass between two groups. However, there was a significant reduction of TR in DK group. But this difference will disappear if the side branch lesion lines small than 5 mm or side branch diameter stenosis less than 70%. So the result rests the possibility that DK quash may be beneficial for complex Medina 111 or Medina 011 lesions. So previously we established definition criteria from patients with Medina 111 and Medina 011 coronary bifurcan lesions with side branch diameter minimal 2.5 mm. When we established the criteria from the validation group and tested in another study group, finally we got one major criteria plus any two minor criteria. So it could be defined as a complex coronary bifurcan lesions. So also, previously we published the DK Quash 3 and DK Quash 5 study compared the DK Quash with colloid standing technique or provenance standing technique for distal left man bifurcan lesions stratified by Medina 111 or Medina 011. Subgroup analysis demonstrated that much more benefits of DK Quash were sure in complex lesions. However, this finding was needed to be confirmed in a randomized study. So this is the aim of our definition two trial. We only included complex coronary bifurcan lesion defined by definition criteria. So finally, the primary endpoint was a tight lesion failure at one year follow-up. Safety endpoint was stent thrombosis. Secondary endpoint included of course death, cardiovascular death, incident with stenosis, myocardial infarction, TLR or TVR. At one year follow-up, the prevalence of target lesion failure was 11.4% in the provisional group compared to 6.1% in the two-stand group, mainly because of the high rate of 
TLR and tight vasomyotelium function in provisional group compared to two sedan group. So in, conc in conclusion, for complex Medina 111 or 011 bifurcate lesions, either localized as distal left man or non left man, systematic two stem particular DK quash which was used in 77.8% in our definition 2 trial has less rare of one year TLF rate, mainly driven by reductions in target vessel myocardial infarction and TLR. However, why there was a increased target vessel myocardial infarction after provenal standing technique, which could be explained by our recently published serial OCT study, which showed the presence of lung side branch lesions and vulnerable plaques in the main vessel could predict the occurrence of target vessel myocardial infarction after, in the, after provisional standing technique. Thanks for your attention.